hello you guys welcome back to an unusual video with me i just got myself a pumpkin cream cold brew from starbucks it's the first time i've ever tried it um i got it with extra ice and no vanilla syrup but i sent it to the wrong starbucks and so it's a little melty um i explained this on tiktok but i do consider myself to be plant-based and i have been plant-based for like probably seven or eight years now but in the last six months i have i don't want to say like become lazy or like become lackadaisical with it but i'm just allowing myself to like enjoy my life a bit more and not be so focused on like what i'm consuming food wise and for me that feels freeing right now i don't eat meat i don't eat eggs i mean like i will eat pastries if they have eggs in them occasionally but it's not even something that i like do consistently it's more like if i go on a vacation and i like there's no there's no vegan option then i will reach for something that's not vegan because i want to have a sweet or something like that but I felt like I was missing out by never trying a pumpkin cream cold brew to be completely honest because everybody has been obsessed with them for years now and I've never tried one um, and so I just like had to try one. It is really so good. I understand the obsession. Will it be something that I grab to that I get every single day? No, just because I don't like to drink milk and there is definitely milk in here. Um, like the, the pumpkin cold foam is, I think is made of like heavy whipping cream or something like that but it is really good if I'm being completely honest. So anyway, I kind of wanted to do a different video today because I feel like I don't do a lot of sit down videos, but sometimes I, I wanna have stuff like that on my channel where it's like you guys get to know me more rather than it just being like days in my life, weeks in my life, weekends in my life, which I love doing those and I'm not gonna stop. But um, when I was thinking about what video I wanted to do this week, I kept thinking about how I get the question on TikTok all the time about my nursing journey and like how I became a nurse practitioner and like all of that stuff. So I really wanted to sit down and literally tell you guys A to B my entire nursing story. So that's what this video is gonna be. I'm doing it in my car because it's Sunday and like sometimes if I'm in my house too much on Sunday I get like anxious I don't know what it is I don't know how to explain it it's probably kind of crazy but I decided I just needed to be you know I needed to leave the house and get myself a coffee I like just took a shower went to the gym this morning but anyway let's take it on back to 2014 which is when I graduated high school which is crazy because it's almost been 10 years but um, my senior year of high school, I decided to go into nursing because um, I went and toured the school that I went to for my associate's degree, which was Southern Adventist University in high school. And I toured their nursing department and I absolutely was just like obsessed with the simulation, with the equipment, all of that stuff, um, which I feel like now is not a great way to like choose a career, but it is how I chose nursing. Um, I was kind of between doing occupational therapy and nursing or interior design and I toured one school for interior design I hated the school itself it was in Michigan I'm not like I'm not from the north I don't like the cold weather and the it was really like math based architectural type art interior design and I think I just more preferred like interior decorating um, and so I was like, no, I'm not doing that. And then I was looking at a school actually here in Florida to get my occup occupational therapy degree. Um, but nobody that I knew was going to go to that school. And I kind of wanted, I don't know, like, to be honest, like I wanted to go somewhere where my friends went and my boyfriend who is now my husband at the time was going to go to Southern and a lot of my friends were going there and I really liked the nursing program. So I was like, heck, let me just do nursing. Um, which is not a great way, honestly, to pick a career, but it all worked out, you know? So, uh, summer 2014, um, my university had this thing called Smart Start, which is essentially where you take one class over a four week period to kind of start you into like the college life. I took chemistry, which was needed for nursing. It was a hell class, but I had literally the best time because it's only freshmen there who take that class. So you're like getting to know everybody. We played volleyball every night in the gym. Like it was honestly, when I look back on that time, like I wish I could relive it. It was so fun. Um, but anyway, so I got my three year degree in nursing and I absolutely hated 
nursing my first semester of actual clinicals and like nursing school. I was like, what have I done? I had my clinicals at Kindred, which um, if you're not familiar, there's Kindreds everywhere, but it's kind of like an LTAC, like a long term care center where honestly people go and don't get better. Um, very chronic conditions, trachs, people have like a lot of traumatic brain injuries, that type of thing. And I was like, what am I doing in this career field? There was a brief point in time where I decided that I did want to be in medicine because I did really enjoy medicine, um, but I didn't want to do nursing. So I was contemplating being like a pre-med nursing major and taking all of my pre-med classes at the same time as nursing and then going to medical school afterwards. But then I quickly jumped out of that. I was like, are you an idiot? No. <laughs> um, so like, thankful that I did. Um, but as I progressed through nursing school, I still was like, I don't know what I'm going to do because I don't love this career field, but I'm just the type of person where if I commit to something, I am doing it. Like I will not give up, um, which is a good and a bad thing, but it definitely worked out for me in this field. So I was planning on doing my bachelor's there. I'm getting my four year degree, but, um, my dad passed away in 2017, which was the fall before, like I was finishing my associate's degree in 2017. So my school, you could get, you would get your associate's test and then your last year would be like test as in take the NCLEX. And then your last year would be your bachelor's degree. Um, but when my dad passed away, he was helping me pay for school. I was just, I, first of all, I didn't decide this right off the gate, but I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, cause I don't want to pay for my bachelor's all by myself when I'm going to have a degree and I could technically work. So I just decided to get my associates, um, get a job and do my bachelor's online. So I graduated in May of 2017 with my associates in nursing. And, um, I did a residency program at Erlanger hospital, which is in Chattanooga, Tennessee, where I went to school. Um, and for that, I was so excited to be in that residency program. I applied to two residency programs and I got into both of them, but one of them started in July and the other one started in June. And because I was done with nursing school and my dad had really helped me a lot with paying and stuff. And my mom has always been there and always been great and always um, really helped me, but she wasn't able to help me a lot financially, which is perfectly fine. Um, I decided to do the one that started in June because I already had an apartment and I needed to start making money so that I could pay for rent. Um, so I did Erlanger's and um, they had a critical care and a non-critical care track. And I knew from my time in nursing school that I did not want to do critical care. I did not like the ER. I did not like ICU. I didn't like the OR. Like I was not interested in that type of stuff. I, I really at this point had no clue what I wanted to do in nursing. I just knew that I liked learning about the heart. That's all I knew. So, um, the great thing about that program was you started with all new grad nurses, which was amazing because you got to know a lot of people. You took classes and then you also did a, I want to say it was a two week rotation through three different um, types of floors. So because I chose non-critical care, I got to, got to choose my top three floors that I wanted to do a rotation on. So for me, that was cardiac step down, um, an intermediate care unit. So like where people would go before the ICU, but it was like general and then just a med surge telly. And I did two weeks on each of those floors and I ended up really jiving with the cardiac step down crew that I was with. Um, they had a lot of like young nurses, but then like my preceptor was also really cool and really nice and I really liked her. Um, and so I really jived with the floor. The other floors were just okay. Um, I didn't feel, eh. I just felt like eh about them. So at the end of the residency program, which ended, the residency program was two years long, but like the actual summer part of it, but like before you started on your floor, I believe was two months long. So like in August, you basically ranked those three floors. So you ranked your first, second, and third pick, and then the floors that you rotated through would rank you, and essentially it's like being matched for med school. They would put the numbers together and see where you matched. So I matched with Cardiac Step Down, which I was super excited about, um, but I had to work night shift there because they didn't have any day shift openings. So I also apologize if you guys can hear the AC. It is a million bazillion degrees out in Florida and I just couldn't do this in my house because my dogs are driving me crazy. So it's literally 98 degrees outside right now. So I 
started Night Shift in August. I remember it because in 2017 there was um, an eclipse, a solar eclipse, and that was my first night ever working Night Shift. So um, I did that. I worked that job for a year and a half, and I did Night Shift the whole time. Um, but I was really mentally unwell. And I don't mean mentally unwell as in like I was a little depressed, I was a little anxious. Um, I don't wanna like trigger anybody, but I was very much like on the verge of like not wanting to be alive anymore, which was terrible. Like I hate saying that. And like even thinking back towards that time because it was also like the year I got engaged and then I got engaged and I got married in 2018. So it, it was a really, really difficult time for me mentally. Um, so during the summer of 2018, I decided, my husband and I at the time, because we had just gotten married, we had just been on our honeymoon, and I was like so depressed that I wanted, like, I, we had a good time, but like I just remember the whole time thinking about having to go back and go back to work. It was like giving me that much anxiety that I was thinking about on my honeymoon, which is awful. Um, so my husband was very worried about me, Seth. He was very worried about me. Me. He was like, you either have to quit this job or you have to find another job. Like, we can't keep doing this. I would literally, I was having breakdowns before I would go to work. Um, I, like, was calling my mom. At one point in time, I think he called my mom and was like, we have to, like, sit down and talk with her or something. I don't, I don't really know. It's, like, foggy in my brain. But I was very mentally unwell. Um, so I... <laughs> I applied to an outpatient cardiac job and I got that job and I started it in October 2018 and um, I feel like maybe a lot of you guys who watch me on TikTok have heard me talk about that job and how much I loved it but not only did I love that job it, it truly like saved my life which sounds so dramatic you know but I was just at such a terrible place that I did not want to continue living anymore but that job gave me the will to live again I really enjoyed my co-workers um, I really enjoyed going to work I had a great schedule I would get there at 8 I would leave at like 4 30 every day I just felt like I was like this is life like I can I just felt like I could live again and I think a part of that was one being away from the bedside but I think another huge part of that was getting away from working night shift I don't care what anybody tells you working night shift screws you up mentally it screws up your neurotransmitters it screws up the way that you process your emotions your feelings we are supposed to be awake during the day um, night shift is usually a funner crew it's usually chiller but in like a better work environment but I think sleeping all day and like missing when everybody else is awake truly affects your mental status um, or at least it did for me so um, I digress on that, um, but I worked at that cardiac office for like eight months. I always say I would work there for the rest of my life. Like I made no money, but I was so happy. Um, and I worked with a nurse practitioner who really influenced me to go back to NP school, or not back to, but to start NP school. It had always been my goal, always been like a dream of mine, especially when I was in nursing school. I was like, I don't wanna be a nurse, I wanna be a nurse practitioner. Um, but then when I got to that cardiac outpatient office, I was straight chilling to the point where I was like, I don't want to go back to school. But he was like, no, like you need to do this. Um, so my husband actually graduated high school in December of 2018. He's um, got his degree in physical education and wanted to be an athletic director. Um, so in the summer of 2019, we decided to move to Tampa where we are now because he took a job at a school here. And um, so I had to leave my cardiac outpatient office, which I loved. So that was really hard and I didn't know what I was gonna do, but I knew that I was gonna use that opportunity to apply to NP school. So I applied to the University of Tampa literally after like Googling it and reading reviews and hearing that it was a really good school and I met all the requirements. I didn't know what nursing job I was gonna do when we moved down here, but I was like, I'm starting NP school in January and I'll use that time to figure it out. We don't need a lot of money. We can live off of your, my husband's paycheck. So that's what we did. We bought our house and I did it work from the middle of August when we left until December. And in December, I got this, I wanted to work outpatient. I got this job at an allergy office for literally like two weeks. Um, they paid me crap. They still had like, they had paper charting and they were like going to send me all around Tampa. And I was like, I don't think I can do this. Like I need a flexible schedule and 
they were gonna put me with a doctor that was not very nice and I was like you know what I don't need this like I'm not I'm not doing this so I quit that job um, after like a couple of weeks and I got an offer at um, on a post-surgical unit at um, what is now HCA South Tampa but what used to be Memorial Hospital of Tampa and I know it's an HCA facility it was definitely it was an HCA facility okay like it was your typical like no resources nothing like that um, but I was like I need a job that is flexible and unfortunately bedside nursing is flexible with your schedule and with going to NP school because I was going to do clinicals and all of this stuff so in January of 2020 I started that job and I started NP school and I worked full-time like for eight months um, but as you guys know in March of 2020 is when the COVID pandemic hit and so because I was a post-surgical floor we did a lot of elective procedures so they basically shut down half of the floor and we became a med surge floor um so i would get called off a lot because we didn't have like a high um census so for a low census i'd get called off i was probably working like two days a week for a good four months or so um but it was still so stressful because i was literally either studying working or in class and it was so it was way too much so in like september i want to say of 2020 i went technically PRN but I was working part-time so I was working twice a week every week um, and I did that for like I don't know like four or five months and then I truly was like okay I'm gonna be PRN and and then I was like okay I'm gonna go down to one day a week and I did that for like another five or six months and then I was like okay no I'm gonna be like fully PRN like I'm working twice a month and I might go off one of those times because I have too much to do um, because for my nurse practitioner school we did four semesters of non-clinical stuff so other things and then we did four semesters of clinicals with a class so I started my clinical rotations in 2021 I believe I believe it was like the summer of 2021 and that's when I went like actually like not actually PRN because I was still working once a week but that's when I went to working once a week at that time period I, I hope that lines up I don't remember like exactly the time periods but um, I did that I also I always forget about this but I also really decided when I was in NP school that I wanted to pursue like an aesthetic career so I was like let me get a job at a med spa an IV place and just kind of like build up this skill and maybe like meet some people so I think it was September of 2021 I got a job at it as an IV nurse um, at a clinic and I would just work there like every other Saturday and I would only have to go in if I had clients and it was cool it was fun um, but unfortunately that place just didn't grow very well and it didn't ever lead me to any anything else so when I graduated with my NP I was like okay I'm done um, so I technically had two nursing jobs and then during my last two semesters of NP school so the beginning of 2022 so like the first so January to August of 2022 I worked as a graduate nurse tech at University of Tampa as well because um, they paid for like half of my tuition so I had three jobs at one point in time but it was cool um, I liked doing that because I would just like I would work in the lab with nursing students which was really fun for me and then in September of 2022 I applied or I think it was like actually July of 2022 that I was like okay I'm graduating with my NP I need to get a job as an MP so I started applying around I started doing some interviewing I feel like that whole process I really documented really well on TikTok um, but I got essentially a job as a GI nurse practitioner um, with a big hospital facility around here, uh, around the Tampa area. And I was like, okay, this is going to be really cool. I wanted either primary care or cardiology outpatient, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to use this as kind of an in, if you will, for that big hospital facility because I'm like once I'm in it if I love GI then that's great I'll stay in GI if I'm after a year or two I'm like actually kind of want to switch to cardiac or I want to do primary care like I can just switch it'll be great um, and I feel like you guys know how that all worked out I've already done a video about all of that but I started that job I want to say it was like the first I think it was October 10th I think it was October 10th that I started that job and I made it until March of 2023 um but you guys know that whole thing. It started getting really bad, I wanna say in like January 
of this year and it was just like a lot of like bullying passive aggressiveness from this doctor wanting me to do everything for them etc 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 I have documented all of that stuff on another video if you guys are interested and haven't seen it you should go back and watch it um, but anyway then I got my job as a primary care nurse practitioner from a friend that I used to work with at the hospital in Tampa, which was great. It's like, it's not who you, it's not what you know, it's who you know, truly. Um, and I have been here at my current job. I'm not, I'm not there right now, but I have been at my current job since March of 2023. And it is going really well. There are always things that you're going to want to change. No job is perfect. And whenever I complain about my job on TikTok, I feel like people are like, girl, you need to change. You need to get a new job. Like this job is not working out, whatever. And it's like, no, it's just that no job is perfect. Like no job will ever be perfect. And I, I am, I truly like, am a loyal person so I want to stick it out it's a great place for me to grow aesthetic wise maybe I don't know if like all of you guys know but I do primary care at my office but I also do aesthetics they're growing like the med spa part of it so it gives me a great opportunity to learn how to do Botox I have not gotten my filler certification yet but I plan to eventually and yeah that is my entire nursing journey I I'm so thankful for where it led me. I would never go back to being a bedside nurse like if it was the last thing that I did, but I'm so grateful that it got me to where I am. And that's all that matters, right? Is how you get there or getting there in general. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, kind of like talking you through. If there's any other things that you guys want to know about me, you want me to do like a sit down video, if I need to do like a Q&A, let me know. Because um, I feel like it's fun to just like catch up like this every once in a while rather than, like I said earlier in the video, just seeing like my everyday life. But yeah, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. I'm going to take the other half of my coffee home to Steph, who will thoroughly enjoy it. It desperately needs more ice because it has all melted. And yeah, I will see you guys next week for my next video. Bye guys.